Okay guys, I know it's getting a bit repetitive at this point, but this time we got some finer details from this leak. But as always, take this with a grain of salt, especially since the grammar wasn't perfect with this uh, leak and I did have to correct some of it. There will be 25 missions, totaling for a 20 hour campaign, and 35 side missions for an additional 15 hours, totaling. 35 hours of campaign based content, not including collectibles, easter eggs or other hidden goods. I don't have much to say about this but from this you know it's a, uh, you know, more content the better but uh, it is a bit upsetting with the side missions because that most likely means there's going to be a destiny like hub world which is my least favourite way to access content in video games through a hub world like place. It's like, the weakest missions, in my opinion, in Halo 5 were the guns down missions. They would, there's just no point to them whatsoever. Skulls return, and are hold a label much like it was in Halo 3. 25 main missions all feature Chief as the playable character. Okay, not much to talk about here. Skulls were a given, and FIFA 3 also confirmed that you'd be playing as Master Chief. And just a side note, but uh, apparently, I mean, this is what I heard, I don't pay much attention with Ubisoft games, but apparently Ubisoft almost use leaks as a type of marketing, or at least the leaks are so commonplace and accurate that it comes off as that way anyway. I mean, that's just something that popped into my head whilst editing this. Side missions are unlocked when beating a main mission, and feature a different playable character, as they take place concurrently with the missions that unlocked them. Each main mission can unlock anywhere from 0 to 3 side missions. Yes again, I don't really have anything to say, apart from it, you know, that it's probably a really cool idea to uh, play as different characters in the side missions, that actually sounds like a really cool idea to build upon a story that was developed within the mission. However, that could lead to like really underdeveloped and poorly made side missions with just awful characters which potentially could lead to uh, a scenario similar to what happened with Halo 5 with so many side characters that none of them were actually properly built upon and fleshed out and I am slightly worried a bit by this because if this is true I fear that Free for Free have taken too much on and that could lead to something like Halo 5's multiplayer as well I'm comparing this a lot to Halo 5 because well I'm starting to think we might have a repeat of Halo 5 which is not a comforting thought whatsoever all missions, main and side, will be launchable from the main menu at any time after unlocking them, so you don't have to worry about missing a side mission if you journey ahead. Well that answers that. Sorry to anyone who expected or wanted a Destiny style hub world. The featured characters that will be in the side missions. Kelly, Linda, Fred, Jerome, Alice, Douglas, Palmer, Locke, Buck, Vale, Tanaka, Arbiter, Atriox, Levolir. Okay, I'm both very, very excited and also concerned because, well, there's more characters than were in Halo 5, and well, Halo 5 ended up being Halo 5. But on the other hand, the Banished confirmed in Halo Infinite, Spirit of Fire confirmed in Halo Infinite, potentially the Ark, and maybe this is how they canonically explain how there are old weapon designs, vehicle designs and stuff in Halo Infinite, and also Atriox would be the first playable brute Halo history, and also there'd be brutes back as well, which hopefully they play a mixture of Halo 2 and Halo 3, like they will berserk charge you, like in Halo 2, but they are designed a lot similar to Halo 3 both aesthetically and functionally, a bit of reach in there as well. So I suppose a conglomeration of all of the brutes that have been <laughs> in Halo games. After beating the campaign you will unlock a new mode, Exploration Mode, which lets you explore the open world environments without being restricted to the campaign, as your multiplayer Spartan 2. The locations include, Installation 07, Installation 04C, the Ark and Earth. Okay, there's a lot to break down here. So, there'll be a massive 
open worlds and these separate worlds will be different locations earth was an example so we'll be able to go back to earth the arc as well installation 04c would be the replacement for installation 04 that you destroyed in halo ce which dr anders sent through a slip space portal in halo wars 2 which I, I presume is how the banished and how the spirit of fire come into the story of halo infinite which is pretty cool you know but yet again this is making me very worried that free for free have taken on way too much than they can handle definitely expect a delay playable elites return to multiplayer with full armor customization along with the introduction of playable brutes However, brute customization is limited, akin to how customization worked in Reach. Playable elites, playable elites, playable elites. <laughs> okay, so brutes is definitely added just for uh, the Machitana community. I suspect perhaps a expansion update later on down the line, but honestly, I don't think that may happen thinking about it now because i mean halo reach is elite customization worked absolutely fine you know it, it worked perfectly for the shitana community and i doubt that there will be too much of a push from the community to have proper brute customization so i doubt free for free would actually add it in wreck weapons and vehicles will not return in halo infinite except for a select few but they will live on as weapon skins instead for weapon skin supported guns. Most notably Oath Sworn and Namfang, which will be used by Killy and Linda respectively. Okay, so how are they gonna give us these weapon skins? Are they A, gonna sell them in wreck packs, loot boxes, or in a battle pass, which I hope so much that they won't do or is it just going to be like unlocked in a progression system or maybe like in uh, halo 4 where you could buy like bundles of weapon skins i have no source from where this came from my friend just sent me a text he was like hey here's a leak i asked him where he was from he just said twitter didn't give me a leak or if anything so take this with probably the biggest grain of soul you have taken any leak ever in your life and I'm gonna say what I said to him. It's either gonna be the best Halo game ever made, or it's gonna be an absolute train wreck like Halo 5, which for everyone's sake, I hope is not the case. Hey, did you enjoy the video? Well, maybe consider liking and subscribe, and maybe even comment. I generally look forward to what you're saying too. If you wanna hear more leaks and news about Halo Infinite, click the video on the right if you wanna subscribe, the little icon in the middle, and then there'll be a random one on the left. Hope you enjoy.